Today I'm making a cheeseburger casserole. This vintage recipe comes from a 1970 Betty Crocker Piggy Bank Casseroles booklet. You can press the CC button to turn on subtitles or check out the full list of ingredients in the video description. There's no picture so I'm not really sure what this is supposed to look like and the instructions aren't entirely clear. So here's what I did. I began by putting 8 slices of bread in my toaster for about 4 minutes each just to lightly toast them. Now we're cutting each of our slices of bread in half, diagonally, before buttering both sides of each triangle. Why did I cut them when the instructions say to butter before cutting? Because it's harder and less efficient. And I forgot. And look who realized it's too hot to wear a flannel in July. Pour some oil into a pan, add a quarter cup of chopped onion, and fry until softened. Now we're adding two tablespoons of chopped celery, and again cooking till softened. Once everything has begun to soften, add in half a pound of ground beef, one tablespoon of mustard, half a teaspoon of salt, and continue cooking till the veggies are soft and the meat is brown. I've never put celery in my burger, but at this point it definitely smelled like burgers. Moving on to assembly, we're going to alternate layers of toast, meat, and cheese, which I'm assuming just means to layer it like a sandwich. So into the bottom of a 9x9 dish, I'm adding a layer of toast. Scratch that. First we're going to grease our dish. I'm just brushing over it with an oil soaked paper towel. Now we add in our toast. Spoon in all of the beef and spread it out evenly. And add in our top layer of toast because our cheese burger is complete and we haven't forgotten anything on our cheese burger. Oh yeah, the cheese. Remove the top layer of toast and cover the meat with one cup of shredded American cheese, again spreading it out evenly. And for the final time, put on the top layer of toast. Now combine three quarters of a cup of milk, one lightly beaten egg, half a teaspoon of salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of mustard powder, a dash of pepper, and mix, before pouring all over the layers. Pop this in a 350 degree oven. Nope forgot some paprika. Sprinkle with paprika and now pop it into a 350 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes. If you layered your toast correctly or at least the way I assumed is the right way, you should have eight sandwich halves. It smells amazing, just like a cheeseburger. The top is brown and crisp, but the bottom not so much. The bottom layer of toast is a little bit soggy, but not so much to turn me off from making these again. All right, time for a taste test. And as expected, based on the burgery aroma, it tastes great. It's just like a cheese. It's meaty, it's mustardy and cheesy. All that's missing is some ketchup and veggies, but you can always open this up and add your own. The lack of pictures and perhaps my inability to function at temperatures over 70 degrees made this a slightly harder recipe to follow. But it's really a pretty simple baked sandwich recipe once you know what you're doing. This is a crispy casserole packed with flavor. It's a quick meal you can get done in about 45 minutes. And if you like cheeseburgers, I think you'll really enjoy this one. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please consider subscribing. Would love to have you around. Regulars, I appreciate you as always. And I hope to see you all next Thursday.